I'm having some major glare problems with my glasses, so. For today's video, we're gonna be doing my May TBR and I'm going to be letting random TBR prompts pick my May TBR. There's only one book that I am going to read that's not going to be chosen by this way and that's Book Lovers by Emily Henry because I've already started this and I think I'm going to finish this first in May. So just wanted to throw that out there. This is about a literary agent and an editor who are kind of just like, I guess they're kind, it's kind of like enemies to lovers, um, grumpy sunshine, whatever. Typical Emily Henry rom-com. So far, so good. I'm really enjoying this, but this is probably gonna be the first book that I read in May. Just wanted to put that out there before we start the random prompts. I brought you in a little bit closer because I have my computer here with me to pick out my prompts. And how I'm going to do this is I'm using the TBR Hey Reader random prompt generator. Um, basically, if you just Google like TBR prompt generator, this will come up. I'm basically just going to spin this wheel and I'm probably gonna do it like 10 times, maybe eight times because I don't wanna give myself something too ambitious. That's how we're gonna be picking our TBR. After we spin the generator and we get a prompt, I will pick the book and I'll show you which book I'm gonna read. And then at the end, I'll go over all the books again. I'm just kinda gonna go with the flow here. Okay, we're going with the first one. I'm gonna press spin. A book in a series. So, let me think here. What book can I read that's in a series? I'm gonna go grab a book. So for this, I think I'm going to read The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Um, I think I said this in my book haul that I did with this book, but I feel like this book has very mixed reviews. So I don't know if I'm going to love this book or hate it, but it seems like people either are obsessed with it or really don't like it. This book is actually the first book in the Folk of the Air series. And so the second book is called The Wicked King and the third book is called The Queen of Nothing. And like I said, a lot of people either really like it or really don't like it. So I am kind of anticipating reading this and it's not too long. So I think this will be a good fantasy read for me in the month of May. All right, we're gonna spin the wheel for the second time. This one says, pick a book from a genre you usually don't read. I'm gonna have to think about this one. Okay, so for this prompt, I think I'm gonna read One of Us is Dead by Geneva Rose. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm gonna read this on my Kindle. Right now it's on sale for $1.99. I don't really read thrillers that often, so I did really like The Perfect Marriage by Geneva Rose, so I feel like I would probably do good with another one of her books. So I'm going to read One of Us is Dead. I know that she just came out with another book called You Shouldn't Have Come Here, but I kind of want to read one of her other books before I read her newest book. But yeah, this is going to be my book for the genre I usually don't read a prompt. Okay, moving on to our third prompt. Published before 1900. So we're going to a classic. For this prompt, I've decided to choose Persuasion by Jane Austen. I am a Jane Austen girly. Um, I read Pride and Prejudice two summers ago and it is still to this day one of my favorite books of all time. And I did start reading this book. I think I actually have a Mona Lisa bookmark in this book. But I really want to finish it because I, like I said, I love Jane Austen. I do have some water damage on this book, which is so sad. But I love Jane Austen and this I think will be a pretty quick read. It's not too long. I think it's less than like 300 pages. Um, I also did watch the movie before I read this. A movie came out recently within the last year, I believe, with um, Dakota Johnson um, on Netflix and it was really good. So... That's kind of why I want to read this book because I, I didn't even really know about this book until I saw the movie on Netflix and it's really good. Totally recommend that movie if you are looking for something to watch. Uh, basically, this is about a woman who she was in love with this man, but he was of lower status. And so her family and everyone in her life pretty much convinces her to give him up and persuades her to kind of break things off with him. But after that, she's basically just really heartbroken. Um, but then her family loses all of their money, I believe, and so 
she they end up having to sell their house or rent it out pretty much and move somewhere else but then somehow he ends up coming back i think he's the one that rents their house out or like his brother is or something like that and obviously they are you know in each other's company again and it's kind of like a love story i love jane austen's writing i love the way that she writes about love and i love how strong her female characters are and this book was published in 1817 i believe which was the same year that jane austen passed away um so i think this was her last book that she ever wrote so i'm gonna add this to my tbr i'm excited i have been meaning to read another jane austen work anyway so i'm really glad i got this prompt okay we're going on to the fourth prompt i'm gonna spin the wheel a book that ends in an odd number of pages so let me go find one i have fallen a little in my chair but for this prompt i've chosen my policeman by bethan roberts this is going to be a movie soon with harry styles and emma corrin and i love them both of them so I really want to read this before the movie comes out and this ends on a odd number page. It ends on page 289. So that's an odd number. This is going on my TBR. On to the fifth prompt. Set in a fictional town or world. Let's see what I can grab. For this prompt, I'm going to go with Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I really want to read this book and this is in a fictional world. I'm going to add this to my TBR. As you guys know, I read Once Upon a Broken Heart and The Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber last month. So I really want to read this book. I'm really anticipating reading this and I really hope I'll enjoy this series as much as her other one. Alrighty, moving on to the next prompt. Okay, this one's gonna be hard. This one says it has to be five words in the title. These prompts are really being good to me because Beautiful World Where Are You by Sally Rooney is five words. I know Sally Rooney can be controversial, but I am a Sally Rooney girl. I loved normal people and I love conversations with friends. So it's only fitting that I finally get to her third book. Do I know what this is about? Absolutely not. Alice, a novelist, meets Felix who works in a warehouse and asks him if he'd like to travel to Rome with her. In Dublin, her best friend Eileen is getting over a breakup and slips back into flirting with Simon, a man she has known since childhood. Alice, Felix, Eileen, and Simon are still young, but life is catching up with them. They desire each other, they delude each other, they get together, they break apart, they have sex, they worry about sex, they worry about their friendships and the world they live in. Are they standing in the last lighted room before the darkness, bearing witness to something? Will they find a way to believe in a beautiful world? And can we please just take a minute, first of all, cover beautiful. I love when authors make the insides of their like hardcovers like really cool like this. I've been meaning to read this book for so long. This is the perfect excuse to put it on my TBR. All right, we are moving on to, I think number seven, I believe. Let's see what it has for me. A modern classic. After giving it some thought, I think the modern classic that I'm going to read is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I think Harry Potter is a modern classic. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I have never read the entire Harry Potter series in order. Um, I've read the first three books, I think, and then once I got to the fourth book when I was in middle school, I was like, absolutely not, because it's so large. But I do have the entire series in paperback and on my Kindle. Um, I think I'm going to read it on my Kindle just because the uh, first book that I own in paperback is actually The Philosopher's Stone, and it's a very rare edition of that book. I don't want to touch it, I don't want to mess it up, anything like that. But I think I'm going to read Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone because I really want to finish the entire series and I really want to read it in order. If I start in May, that's the fifth month of the year, and there's seven books, so I will read one book a month from the Harry Potter series and then I can finish in December, which is Christmas time, which is when I want to watch Harry Potter. So if I finish in December, then I can do a Harry Potter movie marathon. So now that I'm thinking about it, I think that this is what I want to do. And I think I'm going to read 
Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone for my modern classic prompt. I think we're gonna do one more prompt and see what we get. Okay, this is going to be the last prompt. It says that a significant other has to pick the book. So I'm going to text my boyfriend and see what he picks. I might have to FaceTime him and show him my bookshelf so that he knows what all the options are because he's not really big into reading and I don't really think that he knows a lot of book titles or a lot of book series. So I might have to call him. I'll let you know what he says. Good news, guys. My boyfriend picked Happy Place by Emily Henry. So this is going to be on my TBR for May. I'm so excited. I have been anticipating this book all year. And plus I'm reading Book Lovers. I just read Beach Read. So I'm really at an Emily Henry pick right now. I'm just so happy that he picked this book. So these are the books that are on my May TBR. We have Book Lovers by Emily Henry, Cruel Prince by Holly Black, Persuasion by Jane Austen, My Policeman by Beth Ann Roberts, Caraval by Stephanie Garber, Beautiful World, Where Are You? by Sally Rooney, Happy Place by Emily Henry, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling, and One of Us is Dead by Geneva Rhodes. I think this is a pretty good group of books and I'm really excited to jump in and read them. So now I'm gonna give kind of like an overview of each book so that you guys know what it's about. This is sort of like a second chance romance. Basically they are like, main characters are a perfect couple and them and their friends go on this friends vacation every single year, but this year it's a little bit different because they are broken up and none of their friends know it. So I guess it's almost kind of like fake dating too, um, but I'm really looking forward to reading this book because you know me, I am an Emily Henry girl. Sally Rooney's Beautiful World Where Are You is also about a group of friends as they are navigating relationships. As far as I know, this book just explores the relationships between the characters, whether it's romantic or platonic. Sally Rooney is the queen of writing about everyday people, making their stories so beautiful and so engaging and so intriguing. So I just know that this one is going to be just as good as normal people and conversations with friends. I don't know how to describe this perfectly, so I'm just going to read the cover. It says, Scarlet Dragna has never left the tiny island where she and her sister Tella live with their powerful and cruel father. Now Scarlet's father has arranged a marriage for her and Scarlet thinks her dreams of seeing Caraval, the faraway once a year performance where the audience participates in the show, are over. But this year Scarlet's long dreamt of invitation finally arrives. With the help of a mysterious sailor, Tella whisks Scarlet away to the show. Only as soon as they arrive, Tella is kidnapped by Caraval's mastermind organizer, Legend. It turns out that this season's Caraval revolves around Tella, and whoever finds her first is the winner. Scarlet has been told that everything that happens during Caraval is only an elaborate performance, but she nevertheless becomes enmeshed in a game of love, heartbreak, and magic with the other players in the game. And whether Caraval is real or not, she must find Tella before the five nights of the game are over. A dangerous domino effect of consequences is set off and her sister disappears forever. Welcome, welcome to Carnival. Beware of getting swept too far away. It's good stuff, guys. I'm really looking forward to this one. My Policeman is an LGBTQ romance. It's kind of a love triangle story. Um, it's about Tom, who is a policeman, and he is, you know, he meets Marion, and they're in a relationship, and he meets... Patrick in secret so they're kind of having a secret relationship and and Marion is kind of like his cover but one of them is going to break in this relationship after a while and not be able to take the sharing basically after a while one of them is not going to be able to handle the situation anymore and everything's gonna fall apart this is going to be a movie with Harry Styles and Emma Corrin as I said so I'm really excited to read this book and finally cross it off my TBR. This book I already talked about when I was doing the prompt, so I'm not going to repeat that. The Cruel Prince is about Jude, and when she was seven, her parents were murdered. Her and her two sisters were stolen, and they were sent to live in the treasures High Court of Fairy. Ten years later, Jude wants nothing more than to belong there, but many of the Fae despise humans, especially Prince Cardin, the youngest and wickedest son of the High King. To win a place at the court, Jude must defy him and face the consequences. So I've never read a fae fantasy before, so I'm really excited to get into this. And I really hope that I like it because 
Fantasy is my fear genre and I'm trying to break that this year. And lastly, we have Book Lovers by Emily Henry, which is my current read. This is about a literary agent and an editor who kind of cross paths in, I think, North Carolina, uh, in Sunshine Falls, North Carolina. And it's kind of grumpy sunshine. Um, he's really grumpy, she's sunshine, and almost an enemies to lovers trope. Basically just another rom-com, another perfect rom-com from Emily Henry. I'm gonna read this first and then Happy Place just because I kind of wanted to read her books as close to the original order that they came out as possible, but I just love her books. I feel like they always make me feel better and put me in a good mood and they're lighthearted and they're pretty easy to get through. So I just love Emily Henry. I feel like she is such a good author and her writing just always hits the spot. I don't think I need to go over the plot of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I feel like most people have read that or seen the movie, but One of Us is Dead by Geneva Rose is my last book on the TBR. This story is about a woman who's kind of the queen bee of the city and she and her husband get divorced and her husband's a politician and then he replaces her with a younger version pretty much so it's about the original wife the new girl another one of the characters wants to kind of take over as the queen bee of the town the last character is the hairdresser and she kind of knows all of the tea going on in the city so it's basically a thriller it's about these women and the lies and the situations and the manipulation between them. So I'm looking forward to this. I feel like I've never read anything like this. As the prompt entailed, this is a genre that I do not read that often. I'm not a huge thriller person. So I'm really looking forward to reading this book and seeing if maybe I'm going to be in my thriller era anytime soon. That is all for my May TBR and my random prompts choosing my TBR. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you in my next video.